Victor. Yeah, mom. Let's play a game. Okay, go. Okay, after every sentence, you say, I'm a man. <laughs> okay. You go to a bar. I'm a man. You meet a cute girl. I'm the man. You have sex. I'm a man. She wakes up in the morning and says, I'm a man. <laughs> Wait, what, mom? Look, guys. Look. Oh, we have to check the security cameras. He's back. This is so exciting. It's been like three months. Look, not theirs. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. He doesn't like any of these guys. He likes me. So someone on Facebook was like, ooh, who can say they've never used numbing spray on any of their tattoos? And I'm over here, eight tattoos in, like. They make numbing spray? So I got picked off of I-40 by this state trooper for going 10 miles over this morning. The state trooper walks up to my car. My windows are all down, mind you. My adorable and apparently incredibly intelligent nephew is in the back seat. Begins screaming. It's coming out. I can't hold it any longer. It's coming. And it's almost here. So the trooper hears this and he sticks his head inside my window and he asks me what's going on. My nephew looks the trooper dead in the face and says, I've got poop coming out of my butt. He starts laughing and I've got a blank stare on my face. I don't know what to think. So he asked me how far I have to go and I said, well, we're only about a mile and a half from the house. So he says, well, go on home and let the little man do his business. And he's still laughing at this point. So as I pull away, I turn around and I ask my nephew, what the hell was that? He smirks and says, I saw it on YouTube, but I didn't think it would work. And I said, wait, so you don't have to poop? He said, no, and you're not in trouble either. Oh my God, this kid is my hero. So I don't normally wear this much makeup to the gym, but you know, I've been having a rough week, so I did some makeup for myself. It was for me, so I decided to keep it on while I worked out. At the end of my workout, a guy comes up to me, and I'm like, right here, fucking goes, we you always fucking makeup at the gym, expecting that conversation. Instead, this lovely man goes, oh my gosh, you must be a makeup artist. My daughters would absolutely love your makeup. It looks fantastic. And that, ladies and motherfuckers, is what you say to a girl who has a buttload of makeup on. Make her feel good. Maybe she's doing it for her because she's had a rough week and she needs that little tiny bit of reassurance because she likes validation. But seriously, thank you. That was very nice. my hat because i'm trying to look like one of them hot lesbians on tiktok you know get all the likes like bounce wow wow <laughs> hi hi new in the building yeah i just moved in monday oh you like it so far Everybody's been real nice. Well, that's because you have big jugs. I mean, your boobs are huge. I mean, I want to squeeze them. <sighs> Mama! Fuck yeah. Did you just fucking use my stick to push the fan away from us? Yeah. <laughs> All right. How did you know that, Chris? If you can't see, hmm? <laughs> how, how could you have possibly deduced that, Christopher? Yeah. Mm. No powers of deduction. Are you, <laughs> are you actually blind, plop? Jack, can you please show everybody your talent with opening up beer bottles? I don't want this going around social media, bro. Bro, I, it's so funny, though. It's beautiful. It's a talent. All right, if it doesn't blow up, you're deleting it, though. Deal. Deal. 
so my girlfriend just got me these cutesy little salt and pepper shakers that say you're the salt to my pepper and I was getting ready to put the salt in them uh, because you know that's what you use them for but then I realized that I don't know which one to put the salt in because this one says you're the salt and if they're if these two shakers are talking to each other which it's kind of the vibe I get from this whole thing this one is saying you're the salt and then this one goes to my pepper so because so this one's saying that it's not the salt and this one's saying that it is the pepper so are they both pepper because i don't know if this makes any sense to anybody else but like is this one supposed to be a mixture of salt and pepper because this one's saying it has salt in it or is it just it says the word salt on it so i put salt in it this says pepper on it i have no idea what's going on so I bought these chips the other day at the supermarket and wanted to read out what was written on the back. The brief history of snack -a Each snack -a chip is hand reared from free range super potatoes which are descended from the super potatoes first discovered at Machu Picchu in Peru. No caged potatoes are used. They are gently peeled left to right then rapidly sliced right to left. Only the... Just one second, okay? You can have some chips after I finish this video. I just want to read. Can I do that? Can I? Thank you. Uh, only the chips with the best attitude will enter the Kraken Hopper 3000, the machine that will give snack a Sorry, sorry about this. It's just, she's really hungry. Um, the machine that gives snack a 20% Don't go to any more coffee places. You know what I heard the other day? I heard that some folks get something called a coffee enema. I don't know what that is. I don't want to know what that is. And please don't let it ever show up on the menu at Starbucks. <laughs> on the other hand, if you really want to pull an awesome joke when you're standing in line, secretly write it on the chalkboard menu. <laughs> then you get to register, point to it and say, last time I had that one frozen. <laughs> it gave my butt the shivers. <laughs> I'm gonna open my own coffee place. This could be a whole new line of beverages for me. The Café Boutte. <laughs> the Espresso. <laughs> the Crappuccino. <laughs> the best part of waking up is coffee in your butt. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Hold on, let me, let me, don't, don't, let me try to do it off of this. Okay. All right, go, go for it. Hey TikTok world, I have a bone to pick with some of you. There's a lot of us posting a lot of good content on here, we're sharing our lives, we're having some fun, we're, you know, making other people smile, we're having a good laugh, duets, reactions, whatever. That's great. We can see everybody's content. That's great. Some people aren't posting any content. So what? They're here enjoying all of our content, which is fabulous. I think that's awesome. It's a great app for, for sharing all sorts of ideas and all sorts of entertainment. And it's for everybody anywhere and in any position doing whatever they want to do. So who's giving grief to these people who are enjoying us, who aren't sharing their own stuff? Who cares if they're not sharing their own stuff? Maybe they have their own issues. Maybe they're not allowed. Maybe they don't have time. You know how much time it takes to do all these? Stop giving these people grief. Let them just enjoy TikTok. That's my two cents. I know, some people say I take lawn care a little too seriously. But you know who doesn't take it serious enough? Freaking Sherry! She thinks she's so smart mowing on a Sunday morning, knowing I'm hungover. Well, guess what, Sherry? I set my alarm clock to this shit. 
couple weeks ago, she had the audacity to cross my property line. Then she sets up the sprinkler, and it's coming onto my side of the property, just water and the mushrooms she gave me. Come on, Sherry. This baby right here is 7.75 horsepower. I got her souped up. We're pushing 10 horsepower now of all-wheel drive action. I can knock down goddamn poplar trees with this baby. Suck it, Sherry. No, don't get bigger.